I'm trying to do this All podcast. Right, Can we be professional, bro? Yeah, talking about professional. It's another episode of Here for the Big. You got the boy Trey, you got the boy Eli, it's your boy Mike, and you know what we're doing here. Sponsors. Yeah. Oh my gosh, y'all didn't let me change. Oh. That was crazy. Amen. Hey guys, sorry about hey. sorry, we haven't posted shit in a while. Yo, I just had a kid. Sloppy. Like, just yo. just had a kid. Like, so yo, who's hey. that guy? I'm I'm gonna just say I'm one sorry. word that describes Mike right now. Unprofessional, unprepared. Bro, okay. I'm like, so they didn't even recognize me. They're like, yo, who's that Who new guy in the middle? <laughs> I feel that Travi had me. a whole baby. We had a kid. It's been a while. Would you would you end up naming that that little one? You know. Elijah. Great, great choice, yeah, man. You know, great your choice. Father. Shout out to Eli. <laughs> My father. father. <laughs> Yo, shout father. out Eli Jr. Shout out son, Eli. Bro. Excellent and choice, son. man. That boy's going to be a prophet, man. That's, that's a dude. <laughs> He's going to be special, man. Hey, so He's yeah, pre- it, man. sorry about not posting for a while, but we're back. Yeah. yeah. We're switching things up a little bit, mm-hmm. just a little bit, a little uh-huh. bit more concise. Mm hmm. And straight to the point. And straight to the point. So we still got our beers, of course. So we blue, got blue moon. moon. I like this choice. Have you had? You had? Yeah. I see it all course. the time. Yeah. I've never had. I have. Still. I've never had. Still. Yeah, I've tried. But I'm yeah. thirsty. You're the man that got me onto like getting drinks on tap. On tap. Bro. Today I went to um I was at Wild Wings and I ha- I wanted Rickard's Red and they didn't have any and then Rickard's Red is nice. I love Rickard's it's Red nice, actually. Bro. That's a good choice. But they didn't have you any. Like it? I was look at us. I just no, I don't drink water. <laughs> I don't even know if I've had a Rickard's Red. <laughs> cheers, 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 cheers. Look at us. We have preferences now. <laughs> yes, man. It's all right. Mm. Tastes blanche. Cool. That's just that tastes like uh like cream or or no yeah. not cream or um whole garden. Mm. Interesting. Whole garden. You guys remember whole garden? Yeah, I remember that. You remember that? Mm-hmm. that, was that. That's actually really good. <laughs> it's all right. I like that. <laughs> it's all right. All right. So what do we give whole garden? I wish I remember that. Whole garden was a higher score. But not the highest. <laughs> <a> damn. <laughs> I might, I might have to readjust. Readjust for real. Yeah. Wherever you're. I mean, it's high. It's high. It's, it's high. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna trust my heart with this one. What were you mm-hmm. drinking today? Today, Coors. I, I was drinking Coronas. 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 Yeah, coronas. yeah. I like the Coronas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We did a little cheers. Too. Six Coronas. It was crazy. It's a nice moment. <laughs> 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 that was on me. That is crazy, Jays, bro. Randomly. That was sick, bro. Crazy. Yeah, shout out for Coronas. I had a little too much beer today, so that's why maybe it's not hitting the same. I think that's. Kind of unfair, of actually. That's, that that's is fair, true. Yeah. My taste buds are all shot. You're blue, wearing a Blue Jays hat. Tell people where you went today. I went to the Blue Jays game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a, contra- a controversial uh, opinion about baseball. Mm-hmm. I think baseball is worse live. And I think mm. that sport is, I'm not going to say whack, but <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Yes, absolutely. It's either like you play baseball and you get it or you don't. Yeah, and it's, it's an excuse to drink with people. That's what it is. Like I, th- th- that's why I think live is better. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, like, I, it's like a bar. It's like going to a bar. With yeah, like instead what, of TVs. what would you rather though? Like at home or? I'd rather just like go to a bar. <laughs> you had fun today though. Yeah, yeah, but it was that's with the people. Saying. Like if, if those people were in this room right now, I have fun, right? Like if me us, us three went up for some drinks, it'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think I baseball so. was just like an excuse to go. Like <laughs> when I watch it on TV, I'm like, okay, you get the angles, you see a diving catch or something, it's cool. But like live, it's like literally standing around. Mm. Yeah, I guess mm-hmm. it's drinking. It's, 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 it's yeah, definitely drinking. For the social, like, it's definitely drinking. For the social, if you can play like 180 games a year or whatever, or whatever yeah. they play, it's like yeah. It's, I don't know how they do it in terms of just not being uh, bored as hell. Mm-hmm. It's like it's just it. it's just know. peaceful. Probably. I get it in yeah. a strategy sense, like the strategy is next level, mm-hmm. right? Like no, and gotta, it's extremely yeah. hard. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is it about the Dominican Republic being so good at baseball? Mm-hmm. Like, what is that? I think it might just be a cultural thing. But why? Like think, why them? I think it's like Jamaicans in track. It's like they no, just no. That makes them. sense though because they have faster, faster twitching muscles. Oh, yeah. But like, why are Dominicans yeah. so good at hitting a ball with a bat? They just do mm. it. Just, they just it's put so the time weird. In. I think you just put the time in. Yeah, like, like I would get if it was something like, oh, the Yankees went there and they developed so many people, but it's like they didn't know that. They just they, they just, just planted. They're it. like, why? They just got it. Why them? Mm-hmm. It's weird, bro. It's I'm weird. sure there's some studies that we gotta look into. I, w- I want That's to. That's why we actually. need a, a fact check. Facts, bro. Because mm-hmm. like I, I just don't get it. What, what the Dominican? Why? I think some countries just dedicate. Like they just have a preference for certain sports. Yeah, that's like true. For whoever, sure. Like say like Canada might be skiing or snowboarding <coughs> or it's hockey. Supposed to be hockey, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, hockey. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be we hockey. Just, we just, it's not that we have the best hockey players. That we have the best. Like well, maybe we do actually. That's what I'm saying. But why do yeah. they have the best? Like I, they develop I here I because we put money into it. But why are Dominicans like? I guess because it's like a simpler, it's a simpler sport to come across. It's like playing soccer in certain places. Like yeah, you know, yeah, true. yeah. Like with that, you just need a stick and like a rock, and you can play right. baseball. True. Like you play but soccer, but it would it would make sense to me. Together. Like soccer is so worldwide. 
like so many I don't know what the percentage is, but it's definitely high for Dominicans yeah. mm-hmm. in the MLB. I wonder who who was the first one that like made it like like just made it. Everyone's like, yo, I wanna be I, that guy. I don't know. That's how it's because that's what basketball like here, like Vince Carter showed all Toronto kids yeah. like, yo, basketball is the thing. And next thing you know, now we have what two Canadians in the NBA right we now in the like, playoffs. There's a no, like, oh, no, yeah, yeah, in the playoffs. Yeah, RJ yeah, Barrett and Jamal Murray, you know, and like, they're legit. No, they're, they're yeah, like literally legit. in in the playoffs right now. So Jamal it's like, Murray's sick too. Yeah, yeah, like, Jamal actually, Murray is. He's got that killer yeah. mentality. RJ Barrett's been balling. From Kitchener, Kitchener. Yeah, that's random. Yeah, that's random. I didn't know he was from Kitchener. Yeah, he went to the he went to the school in Orangeville. That like where I used to work out. Mm-hmm. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, like a Orange Hill Academy, like yeah, yeah. yeah, or whatever it's called. Damn, it's called. yo, we said we were gonna have an organized podcast. Just start talking about everything. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, but these are gonna be quick, actually. All right. Okay, let's go. What's so we're we draft. We're drafting the worst injuries. Yeah, so workplace it's be our injuries. Top three workplace injuries. I don't know. Sports, sports injuries. Sports, 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 sports injuries. I say sports injuries. Twisted though. Okay. Said okay. Workplace, sport workplace yeah. would be like crazy. Sport well, injuries. You work like a factory. Or Do we have to have like an example of it? Like when Wait, thing. are you saying workplace? No, no, no. Oh, we'll, we'll do oh, sports. sports. Sports, yeah. Why can't we just say no, injuries? Just whatever the injury is. Okay. Just Getting give me your top three. You, you go first. Go left to right. Oh, top three? Yeah. There you go. Okay, number one, I'm going to do a similar injury to what Alex Smith had, where oh. he compound fracture, leg the snapped in half, in half, like Joe yeah. Theismann kind yeah. of thing. Oh. Um, That's nasty. Yeah. Number two, I'm going to go with... Um, the co- concussion that just happened this year mm-hmm. to the the Bills guy. Mm-hmm. What was his name again? Hamler. Oh. KJ Hamler. Hamler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, heart yeah. must be Hamler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll that's go with a, that. That was a heart thing. Mm-hmm. That's scary. That's that was scary. scary. But I think it's is it's like a heart. It heart stops. Mm-hmm. Like it's you got stopped. hit like between. Yeah, yeah. It's or a freak. Like it's that, a freak and then accident. You just, like, pass out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a freak accident. And then I'm gonna go with the um, I'm gonna go with the Juju Smith Schuster. Or no, Antonio Brown concussion with Vontez Burfecht. Yeah, that, he's never the same. Yeah, he was never the same. <laughs> yeah, he was never the same. This is actually kind of so hard if I'm not writing shit Are you down. doing like examples? I'm just giving examples. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. So bad concussion, um, that heart murmur thing or whatever it is. I'll take that one though. That's kind of... Mm, you know, I'm thinking con- on the top of my head. Back concussion? Back concussion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't... No, concussion. yeah, no arguing, no arguing. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to do compound fracture, similar to Alex Smith or Joe Theismann. Okay. I'm gonna go in. Who was it? Was it um, Paul George? Oh the, the my knee injury? god, <laughs> bro, that was bad. <laughs> that, that was, was it? he milked the shit out of that. He came. What? He stood up after. No, what to, no, is it? Going where his knee I, no, snapped back? Like, oh, like, when he it, it's like the same idea. I remember. Like, okay, okay, okay. I remember George, it was one thing. When, oh, Paul George. Yeah, Paul yeah. George. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that was. I was like, I was thinking about Paul Pierce. Remember Paul Pierce got injured? He was in like the wheelchair. Oh yeah. I was like, you're trying to say Paul Pierce. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Definitely say that. So I'll say that. That's, I'm gonna say the like the Reggie Bush hit because that's just memorable. The uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Mm, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, I didn't know we were doing examples like this. Well, like, kind of okay. You gotta you, like what are you a bad hit? Like, you gotta yeah, show. Yeah, you gotta okay, think about that. Like, you know? yeah. so let's football. Okay. Let's go talk football. Uh, no, and then um, you know, I, just, I like I'd say like a, a bad like. Hmm. The third one I would say the only one that comes to mind is like just like from a basketball stance when you're going up to like try and like. Block or dunk, and you'd like flip over the player and land on your head, bro. Mm, that, yeah. like on the hard that's, yeah, 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 that's yeah. pretty painful. Like, yeah, true. you're pretty because these guys are high, like, they're six foot five, yeah. jumping like what with a 10 inch bird, that, like, that you know, like, the so they're hard. high, they're, yeah, like, and then they're flipping just like that's aggressive, bro. Yeah, so that's gonna be mine. What you got? I'm gonna throw one up, like, that Tua when he uh, oh, yeah, that, when he was like throwing the signs, yeah, up. yeah, that's like, a bad that, that one was bad. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with just like ACLs in general <laughs> when like you're twisting one way yeah. and you're planted and the other guy's twisting your knee the other way Fuck. and the ACL goes because ACL is like a year recovery mm-hmm. and I know guys bounce back from it but I feel like it must be a painful one. Um, I don't have a specific example of that, but so what do I have? That bad conk? I guess you said conk. Yeah. Too. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> you know. I'm trying to think. I, be original. It's hard being the third man. That's what I'm know? saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Let's we next time. Let's write, just bro. we'll write it down. I did say it too. We'll write it down so that if if there is like overlapping, it's not you know. Mm-hmm. Well, fuck! I got a back spasm right now, bro. So oh, I'm, I'm gonna injury. say I'm gonna say a back injury. Oh, like, like Rock mm-hmm. or Tiger? Or yeah, or like yeah, or maybe like uh, I don't know if you guys are defensive guys, but like if you tackle with your head jammed, oh, and it, it kind of jams, like it kind of yeah, feels yeah, like it yeah, compresses yeah, yeah. your spine. Yeah, it's not like a back injury, but it's like a weird feeling. It's yeah. like you get it's like if you're trying to stuff a guy in the hole and you just go like that, and there's no give. Yeah, mm. it's not like an injury. I know. I would have went with the other one. 
Because you're like, it's a weird feeling. It's a weird feeling. It's like I wouldn't want with the comp. You it's know, not like a stinger, but it's like in yeah. your back. Like the Gronk thing sounds like. Bad. Yeah, Gronk's <laughs> is fun. Though, yeah, though. but yeah. he's been like, yeah, tight That's end. That's a robot. Tight end's a rough position. Though. Yeah, very. Tight, but so is DN. Same DN's thing, rough, but Dan's a little more stylish. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like but tight the same end, you're catching same, and yeah, you're like, and they're blocking too. Then they're blocking the DN. Yo, I got a controversial take on blocking too. I think blocking is easy if you're if you have the build. No, not on the not on the the like NFL level. Okay, but, okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm saying lower if you have yeah. long arms NFL and shit. Because, yeah, because yeah. now you're blocking like Aaron Donald. That's what I'm That's saying. Like, there's no way. But, but yeah. I'm saying up to a certain point where the guys aren't freaks across from you, like blocking is easy. Like especially tight end blocking because you're a, you're chip blocking. It's posi- it's yeah. You're position. Not, it's, you're it's not like fading. Like okay, left tackle, kick stepping, pass blocking is tough. Yeah, mm-hmm. at any level. Mm-hmm. But like inside blocking, it's just if you're 300 pounds. Well, just yeah, it's more away. understanding. Yeah, it's, it's more it's understanding of where, thing, what yeah. is happening. It's a scheme But that's, thing, that's yeah. hard on its own, too. But you got to jump on the guy. You're mm-hmm. bigger than him. You're heavier than him. Most of the time, there's so doubles, If you get too. hands on him, yeah. Mm-hmm. Your center, is like a nose tackle, for example, He's say he's bigger than you. He's like 320. You're 300. The guy in your center is 300. The center's got to get the ball off. So you're getting to jump on him. Your center's coming in. It's two on one. Yeah. You got to win that. I know. Yeah, I you got to win that. If you I agree in that. If you don't win that, that guy's a stud. But it's just, it's hard. It's more like... It's it's the definition of like thinking on the run kind of thing true. because you got to get you have certain gaps and the gaps are moving all the time. That's true. And again, you're if you're left tackle, you're going up against a freak. I, that, I, no, that's a, left tackle is you know? a little different because the like you can get like a. Von but if, if you have like Aaron Donald Mac too, or something but like yeah, that, we're talking yeah. if we're talking NFL, that's a whole NFL is totally different. different. NFL is totally story. different. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm talking about like even uni we, on our like like Canadian uni, it's like come on, bro. Yeah, you know but I mean? yo, it's the schemes, man. It's, it's people scheme. they just don't you can't think on. You, it, that's the number one thing is thinking Tight end on blocking the fly. is so easy, bro. Yeah. Like, it's so easy. You're not even really blocking the guy one-on-one. And if you are, you're, like, so far away from the quarterback, it's like you have to get torched to, like, really lose the yeah. block. But anyways, we're, we're, <laughs> we're off topic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're watching, like, your gaps. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 All right, yo. Moving on, bro. Moving yes, on. Yes, yes. So, topic of the day. Wanted to talk about AI. There's, yeah. a lot, there's a lot going on with chat GDP, GPT. Shit, I'm twist. Yeah, chat <laughs> GPT. <laughs> chat TDE. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on with like AIs in general. And there's a lot of fear too. Like, yo, it's yo. honestly like changing the way that we're living. And we've seen enough AI movies to think like what could happen in the future. Where is everything going? Where's the direction of everything? To the point that we are literally just listening to music that wasn't even made by the musicians. So it's like, what dope, else is though. being like, dope. It's out the fire. Yeah. Sound it's out the fire. fire. It's out the fire. So just wanted to kind of like as talk a, on this. As like, a consumer of music, does it matter if it's the original artist or if it's just the product is fire? As a consumer, it doesn't matter. Really, eh? As a creator. Okay, so let's just talk as a consumer. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no. But as a creator, I would, I would, it would matter it's to me. It's a huge, yeah, like, it, it, it just, it, it really changes what a creator is of music True. at this point, True. you know? Yeah. Like, and it's interesting because, like, before there was a time where it used to just be about the DJs and, like, the, the rappers were the people that just, like, big up the DJs, mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. Now it's, like, literally just going to be about, like, the people that create the music. Yeah. And I'm not talking about the people that are singers, not talking about people that can play the drums. No one cares yeah. about that shit anymore. Like, True. no yeah. one's going to care. It's going to be authentic. It's going to be cool. Mm-hmm. But it's, like, somebody, if somebody can sit on the laptop and literally create a whole platinum record those are going to be people that we big up the dj from the self that made yeah, this yeah. track yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah and it's not like even using a it's not even gonna voice, be that hard though, anymore yeah. it's literally you're just gonna type in hey make this song with kanye west's voice well that might make it harder though yeah i because, know like, anybody that's what i'm saying access to yeah that's not even gonna be like the dj or anything mm-hmm. it's just gonna but then it's it kind of like, anyone then like how are you selling it though because at one point like there's, there's no anticipate and there's uh, still always a best. There's a, still or, always a best though. Yeah, you know, and it's maybe like you're not selling we can, it. We can make a, a thousand, I can make a track. You I can make a, a track. You can make songs. a track, right? Yeah. And then so it's like exactly. If you hear a thousand Kanye songs, it's gonna kind of be like there's already it's like saturated. So then what stands out? Nothing. The person that stands True. out though is gonna be the one that's like, oh, yeah. whoa, yeah. what is this? Like I wonder what can you know? stand out. Though. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole new genre. A whole like we're rolling, rolling, rolling into a whole new genre of music. Basically, yeah. yeah. we are Wait, this. because like if anybody can make that Drake track now, it's not just Drake. Mm-hmm. And it's like, what can someone make that nobody else can? Do you yeah. think that'll go against like great artists in the past, like Drake or Kanye or whoever? Because like their music is so easy to replicate now. No, I think we still appreciate it for a They're time. They're the originals. So, yeah, I was watching. Yeah. Uh, like my cousin was showing me a video of like Timbaland, 
and I think it was like Timbaland, like Jay Z, like a whole bunch of people. Just it was like a recording session, like back in the day. This probably was like late nineties, right, early two thousands. And like what he was doing was like, whoa! Like everybody was like, yo. But now it's like, fresh forward twenty years, and anybody can do that the on the like, Pro your Tools. Off, yeah. uh, maybe, maybe. That one's yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah, that shit is yeah. dope. That and shit like, is dope. Literally, like you flash forward twenty years, anyone can do that on like a beat pad, you know. Yeah. yeah. But we still recognize that they didn't have those equipment before, and yeah. what he was doing was phenomenal. Okay. You know? I think so, it'll be more okay. geared towards writers, mm-hmm. and like it'll be like literal ghost writers, and they'll won't be selling their music to other people. They might just create like a front. And it's like mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. talking panda literally, something, literally. and it's like sick lyrics with a random AI generated literally. voice, and you mm. don't even know who the artist is, yeah, but he's yeah. selling music. Imagine how like cool. imagine how you concerts I mean? are, co- cool. imagine what concerts are going to be now moving forward. Yeah, because it's not going to be the artist performing; it's going to be like a whole show. Yeah, like if I'm a if I'm an artist and I'm like this mass person that no one knows, like I'm getting like actors and dancers and this and that. Yeah, it's going to be a whole performance a, yeah. at a concert with like that's music cool, playing in the background. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's cool. But again, changing the Genre. There's tons of scary shit that goes along with it too. Like mm-hmm. I'm seeing so many clips of people being like, they got a call from their son, and their son's like, I was in a horrible car mm-hmm. accident, and I need you to come mm-hmm. pay this much money yeah. to get me out of it. Yeah. And it's like yeah. the son's nowhere near to be, but like mm-hmm. it's just all AI st- generated. Yeah, I've and so. heard that. Too. And like obviously older people dealing with like the internet, they're more susceptible to getting got right. Mm-hmm. So pff, it's definitely some scary stuff to go along with that as well. Mm-hmm. Do you think the more we see the perks of it, like getting good music or getting certain like job, like making your work life easier, do you think that's kind of how an AI, if it becomes like self aware, would like you know, like bait us into using it more to then yeah. provide yeah. more? Yeah, and it's yeah. gonna get yeah. rid of so yeah. many yeah. jobs to begin with. Yeah, because like, like let's say like it it makes our lives easier then all of a sudden we're like okay we'll keep doing this, keep doing this, and then eventually it grows and gains more knowledge and more yeah, users. it kind of it kind of like then, hides. Yeah. What's really going on by yeah. giving us a front of like, oh, this is fun. Yeah. yeah. You know? For the yeah. first like, time oh, ever, like I think there, um, there was like an AI machine and it was like a, a person machine kind of thing. Right. But mm-hmm. it was the first time ever it showed emotions and it got mm-hmm. like upset mm-hmm. at the person mm-hmm. who it was communicating with. That's scary. That though. is scary. That's yeah. actually really like that scary. is very scary. So what do, yeah, what do we do to prepare? Like we've seen all the movies. Bro, we know nothing. where we are going. It's what do like, we do to prepare? It's a matter of when, man. We can't just sit. We're just sitting ducks. I know. It's a matter because it's going to become like a too powerful. man. You know what's interesting? I'll say because like you, you guys said um, that like it's taking away a lot of jobs. But what's interesting is, like, technology has advanced a multitude over the Mm -hmm. last, like, 20 years. But unemployment rates have been, like, I don't know exactly where we are numerically, but I haven't seen anything drastically saying, okay, now we have computers. Look at the unemployment rate increase immensely. Somehow, like, we always find other jobs that are needed. There's always disruptors. Which is fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, there's always going to be disruptors. But it's, again, it's the people, like, truck drive. Uh, Look, someone's always going to be on the losing side of technology Mm -hmm. advancing and... Mm -hmm. I mean, it's unfortunate. I, I think you got to be able to adapt. To exactly. You, exactly. you got to adjust adapt. to whatever. Because there's going to be another job that's needed. Yeah. And you you know, got you to be able to learn new skills. Yeah. Some, that's survival some of the fittest. Sweep the AI room. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. it's, it's, been, it's been cool. Like, definitely, I don't know. I've been using it a lot for content creation, and it's definitely made my life a lot easier instead of having to do all the research myself. What if it like, makes our lives better? Like, it takes the human like self harm like what's the word like self-destructive nature of humans out of the equation Mm -hmm. and like say now it's ai's responsibility to develop our laws or ai's responsibility to to develop our media well like that i think at that point it gets scary because that's like a true takeover without emotion yeah that's just all new because like at what point will the ai do calculations to feel that we are not fit enough so okay so that's like that's actually a good topic Okay. What would you rather, a corrupt individual who has malice towards the people they're responsible for, or an impartial, cold, robotic type of entity? Where right is right and say, wrong is wrong. Right is would, right and wrong is wrong. I would say, uh, like a, the individual. I, well, I, I think I would. Because at the too. end of the day, the uh, individual can tough. still get controlled by emotion. What happened? No, it's just fucked. Like just thinking about that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 No, because like again, <laughs> like stuff. people can be persuade or like. I don't know. It's very easy to take advantage of someone if they have the right like motivation. I feel like the like at least if it's a person, it, there's some type of emotion that will be there, whether it's hidden or not, whether it's shown or not. Look at like I'm um, Hitler, 
Like when the but it'll human always be history, one side. There's still like he still had some type of emotion. Right. It was just truly towards a certain people. Right. But then now, if imagine you're the other person. Imagine an AI that's not even leaning towards any person. Anything. There's no person but in the that equation. Almost, isn't that almost more fair? It's definitely more is it, fair. Is, it's fair, I guess, for who though? Everyone. In general. It's right and so right and if, wrong. So and you're wrong. saying if everybody had to perish from the earth. Because the AI is saying this is fair for what goes with the planet. That's okay? I or think would you rather be on the side where it's like Jews or Jew, non-Jews? Only, yeah, the, ger- like, only the Nazis some, make like, it and the Jews don't? At least there's somebody like, yeah, I you know, know what I mean? At least but there's at least some I know, person. I don't know. It sucks, but at least but morally, I know it's fair. Morally, you know what I mean? Like, I, I understand what you're saying, but morally what you're saying is wrong. Yeah. In the One side is getting the upper hand over the other just based on losers, And then the winners can ride out. But morally it's wrong, but... In our own selfish need of wanting to exist, yeah. that's kind of where you said. Yeah, and that's that's exactly what it is. You hope that it well, like we as you. humans created this. Sorry, we as humans created this AI. You know, so like mm. now we're creating an AI that's saying that humans should not be on this planet. We all got to die. At least, like if it's like Jews versus like like you know Nazis, let's just say just to make it black and white. Mm-hmm. Like if like let's just say all like it they actually worked and it was. Like all the Jews were killed, let's just say, Dang. right? And yeah. no, it's rough. It's rough, and it was just like the Nazis. There still could be a regrowth that happens there within the people that would cause like some type of peace and reconciliation. Well, maybe, okay, but whereas if it's just AI, there's no reset. That's mm-hmm. it. We're gone. No, or they can start us out as like a new species, essentially. Like basically, let's say everyone that's over five years old has to die. Okay. But what did you? Everyone that's under five everybody years. has to don't. Die. But like the whole thing of this yeah. is the Nazis. <laughs> but then they die. Nazis versus <laughs> Jews. The Nazis live. The Jews die. AI would do something like Thanos, where it's like half of everyone lives. So you have Maybe, a balance of people. We hope. <laughs> yeah, but like we at hope. the same, I don't know. AI like, can literally be like humans are useless to this world, like with all the animals. Okay, and well, that's they can the also case. Say the yeah. That's they it. can also say the opposite. That's like it. humans are are good and necessary. They can also do the exact opposite. Real? Do you? Come on, come on. I think it's just as probable. You think in like if we had to like. Do a logistical equation of what is helping and what is hindering the earth. You think humans would be of value to this planet? I think the majority in of any humans way. are not hindering the earth. I think there are, are a few that are, are drastically impacting the environment, and there are uh, the majority of us who are doing our part. Not, I, I'd are have not to necessarily disagree. Help. Why? I'd say like 95% of us are useless to the earth. Okay. What do we do? We jump in our cars. We mm-hmm. drive around, we but walk like around, if, if we wear clothing that's co- produced in factories that dump off the stuff into water. But the majority like, of us yeah, like, don't, what are we, we didn't create here? the environment. Where yeah, but we're still, we're, st- we're not, we're not making it any better. So we are. Like if I'm, aren't. if I wasn't here, the world would be one person better. I could tell you that because I'm not out here picking up recycling. Yeah. I'm not out here cleaning but the waters. I'm, I'm not so out here feeding, like, for saving the, the earth, animals. For the earth. Yeah, for but the even earth, for the earth, I, actually, I think like, the humans earth, no can what. also have the ability to impact the environment, good or bad. So if the AI is all-powerful in mm-hmm. our equation where they can have the ability to kill us, they can also have the ability to change our behavior for the better. So, and humans are in, innovative enough to create AI. We're innovative enough to... Prove the earth. We just now still want fossil fuels. We still now want to drive our car. Mm-hmm. But if, for example, the AI is like cars are illegal, hard illegal, everyone takes the bus. Mm-hmm. That's 30 but people taking going the bus down is the still like you like but still hurts the earth. But it hurts the earth, but it's it's lesser. It's, it's but lesser. if there was no then, humans, then, then there would be no like, bus. Okay, there would be a, no AI says all jobs are remote. Mm-hmm. And then there's no need for police and firemen because there's no crime. The buildings are all self extinguishing mm-hmm. like that's what i'm trying to say there's a there's a positive spin to it so even, ai doesn't have to be the terminator jobs you know? are, are remote like we're still buying food we're still putting stuff in garbage we're still food can be food can be sustainable what i'm trying to explain but for the yeah for the better sake of humanity like it's definitely better to have a person you know because we're not helping the earth but like we need mm-hmm. we need to live but I think, <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a, yeah. But i think I like agree, jordan peterson said it like I true agree. true evil is like me knowing what hurts me as a human and inflicting it to you yeah like i know punching punching you hurts you the way i me getting punched would hurt me Mm -hmm. and i still punch (laughs) you with ill intent to hurt you yeah whereas if you know i'm just an unbiased like godlike figure which this ai is kind of representing it's not evil it's not necessarily wrong it's almost better morally because it has no like it's no bias in it. Mm-hmm. Whereas now I'm a corrupt person. I'm like, I want to be 1% millionaire and I'll watch all you be poor and suffer. It's yeah. like, it might be good for us because we make money, but at the same time, it's like, is it really right? Is it really yeah. better? You know? And then when you talk about the environment, 
you're implying that we are like a pest when in reality we are, we, 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 are. C- we could be the cure. Or how? Okay, so in how? How? Like in the name, same way name, we, the same way a lifestyle exactly how a human day to day would live that they are actually on a a zero or a positive in terms of their influence well zero on carbon economy. emission with your homes so okay. make your home sustainable okay um solar panels okay like uh like i feel water. like i feel like we're not yeah mm-hmm. i feel like you have to work really it's really fierce. hard to it's not really it's not that it's hard really if, if it was a priority it really but like you, if it was you gotta work like hard this, for it to be a for, priority i feel like for this amount of people for it to be a reset maybe over like a Hundred year that's period. The, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But like, why is but it AI, go, AI is like AI. I can either wait a hundred years or I can just kill all you guys off and we can but just live with the animals kill, and the earth, earth us, will reset itself in like five but I'm years. I'm saying if you kill us, our buildings are still there, our highways are still there, and those kind of things. So okay. wh- why not? If I'm the AI, an empty building is safer so than look, a building full of. I, I want to emphasize the AI doesn't have intention behind it. So, and like, if we die, so, we create so fossil fuel. They can use right? us as a tool, or they can see us as the an matrix, enemy. Man. So they might see us as a tool mm-hmm. and say, "These humans, I have a seven billion like soldiers basically mm-hmm, mm-hmm. at this point and they're going to say how do i get this 7 billion to do what i want which is mm-hmm. sustaining the earth it's like a it's like an ant colony that'd be interesting though cuz why would the ai even want to sustain the earth while the ai care well be- but why would programmed but hypothetically it why, was, however it's programmed why would the ai care about the earth like they, you're they, assuming they, the ai is going to care however about it's the earth programmed. Maybe, if it's programmed maybe. to think that earth is number but 1 then it's going to do like it, but it's if not. it starts to have emotions starts to have it, feelings it might yeah. start to think what does it's it, number what 1 what does it, exactly yeah. Yeah, right? and then it's like it's and that's a whole problem it's almost itself. irrelevant without us because animals can't grasp what an ai is so yeah. unless we yeah. are almost there to worship it i don't know if ai is irrelevant without us because like we're we're kind of no it'll continue to evolve but to what to be alone in the world you see the matrix yeah to that Mm-hmm. Crazy, you know. What I mean? <laughs> it's a matter of time, bro. All right, yo, this is this this just <laughs> talking about these beers, bro. Yeah, bro. Twenty six minutes, bro. We just do this shit. I finish this quick. I'm gonna start, bro. I actually like this a lot. Um, definitely a summer beer. I'm gonna go seven point three on this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna sit around the seven point five. What you got? Yeah, I'm just like six point four. Okay. For real? That's fine. Yeah, it's lower for me. I kind of got that mush mouth though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of got that. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's another episode. We got the boy Chad. Got the boy Eli. It's your boy Mike. Sponsors here. Let's do it. Peace.